Hi guys, so today I'm going to talk about hacking in Guild Wars 2, which is becoming rampant and destroying the game uh, slowly. And it is important that we talk about this, guys, because I love Guild Wars 2. If I didn't, if I didn't care about the game, I wouldn't talk about this. And one of the reasons I make this video is because I've recently, well, recently, I've been playing game, the Guild Wars 2 for two years and a half almost, and I've noticed a lot of you know questionable moments where things are done like uh strange in a strange way that bypass you know some sort of uh you know uh, legit gameplay you know i was curious to see is this is this something that happens once in the blue moon or is this something that happens every single day or every single week or whatever is this something that a lot of people use or not so i'm going to talk about this because a lot of people don't know what it is so hacking tools in guild wars 2 are created by hackers but these hackers they need to have lines of codings what is line of codings it's something that it's it's, it's like everything that you do see the spell that you have this spell this spell this spell this spell uh the fact that you move the fact that you dodge roll all these are all codings you need a line of coding in order to make it work right so what happens is that these hackers by some way i don't know how they do it but they find uh, the codings they find the lines of codings but i mean i i think i know how they do it but i cannot confirm it unless i have raw evidence so this is the website i'm not going to tell you where it is but i think a lot of uh, guild wars 2 players and a lot of mmorpg players use this site in order to uh to come uh to get those hacking so as you can see here they have uh guild wars 2 hack buzz cheese and exploit so these are all hackers hacking tools that they the hacking programs that they can have and as you can see you have a lot of different things auto flipper auto fisher trainer unf trainer kx trainer guild wars 2 cc is now open beta guild wars 2 cc i think that's the one here i just opened welcome to guild wars 2 cc open beta what is this we are thrilled to announce the release of the go.4 version of guild wars 2 cc this new release includes exciting updates and <laughs> they're making it sound like it's a fucking legit thing oh my god people are so dumb man i'm sorry but you guys you these hackers man they kind of piss me off right now they're really pissing me off i'm sorry guys if i'm ranting and if i rage i really apologize just that you know when you love a game so much and when you see these fucking idiots coming out of the blues trying to promote something to destroy the game you know it, it just hurts me it just really hurts me a lot uh, and improvement that we are confident will elevate your experience. Like they talk like they're fucking, fucking scientific. Like oh my god, man, how 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 can you act like a fucking rational human being when you're fucking garbage trash at the same time? How do you do that? Like how can you be trash? and rational at the same time i, I don't understand I mean, that that is beyond me i don't understand the god of four version give us you see with this uh comes with significant improvement in the integration of guild wars 2 cp a rewrite of guild wars 2a that now serves as a core component of the default guild wars 2 cc configuration this change means that you now have a high performance acr build into the platform without requiring additional plugins the benefit of guild wars 2 cp are not limited to players however acr players I don't know what ACR means or Guild Wars 2 CP. Uh, ACR dev will find it easier than ever to create ACR using Guild Wars 2 CP high level interface to interact with the skill bar. Furthermore, bot de development is now simpler since combat behavior is no longer required manual implementation. What? combat behavior overall guild wars 2 cp is a game changer for guild wars 2 cc and is its integration is a testament to our commitment to improvement the experience and making it easier for devs and players alike we hope you enjoyed this exciting ad oh, man, exciting you piece of what a fucking moron this exciting addition to guild wars 2 cc and look forward to your feedback oh they they, they literally talk like fucking arena net they literally communicate like a reading it like it was a fucking legit thing you piece of fu oh my god I i'm losing it now i'm losing it sorry guys <sighs> we are thrilled to announce that blunderbuss is joining the core guild wars 2 cc <sighs> The way they, they fucking act rational like fucking arena net man it just fucking makes me so it's this fucking cringe man oh man this is so fucking cringe man I, i'm just trying to cope guys i'm just trying to you know keep myself together because it, it, i'm dying of cringeness right now this is so fucking stupid we are thrilled to announce Blunderbuss, nya nya nya, plugging it up. We Blunderbuss on board. We are confident that we will be able to create an exceptional combat system. And... 
user experience for you that will take our platform to new height. Starting with the upcoming God of 4 release, Guild Wars 2A will be rebranded as Guild Wars 2 CP, blah, blah, blah. It will seamlessly integrate, yeah, 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 without extra fee. The integration will provide both user, and the, okay, you already said that. In 2022, okay, what does this shit do? In total, over 700 bucks have been fixed. Oh my god. I'm trying to keep it together, man. I'm just trying to keep it together. All right. Just trying to keep it together, man. We're happy to announce that today's updated store is now open to third party devs that gives dev a platform to reach Guild Wars CCC users. Universe. If you are a dev that would like to get his work included in store, register to unlock hidden link that can generate up to 90 gold per hour that can generate up to 180 fish per hours a various combat rotation scrapper virtuoso scores various combat rotation what various combat rotation there you go that that's one of the bus that was that's one of the mac the uh, one of the hack i was talking about they have combat rotation they have uh, in that i'm pretty sure they have what we call an auto dodge roll macro i'm pretty sure they have that too so but you need to register and the reason why they want you to register they want to know who you are and when they know who you are they can then uh, decide if they can give you the link or not because they want to know who you are they want to know if you're working for arena net they want to know if you are a fucking spy they want to know everything so they're not stupid i admit that but at the same time they are stupid because they are destroying a game uh that they they you know that they care about you care about a game but you're destroying it at the same time so you're literally stupid that that's what you are you're, you're nothing else than trash and stupid you're the worst you're the, you're like a you guys know covid you're like COVID. We don't need you. Nobody needs you. You're the worst fucking human being that can be found uh, on, on planet Earth. You're the worst of the worst. That's what you are. And everybody who supports this site, I'll be honest with you, you're, you're, you're like COVID. You're fucking COVID. That's what you are. You're fucking garbage. You're trash. Because you're supporting, you're so, you're supporting people who are destroying the game that you love. So you're garbage. You're total garbage. And I don't care who you are. I don't care if you're a veteran 10 years. Uh, you've been playing this game for 10 years. I don't. I really don't care. Hacking is hacking. Either it's for bot farming. Either it's for combat. Either it's for anything. Hacking is hacking. Don't give me the... the there's no... There's no like, yeah, but it's only bot farm. No. Look. Y y hacking is hacking. Just because you've been playing this game for a longer time and because, oh, I've been playing Guild Wars 2 for 10 years, so I think it's okay for me to, you know, to hack because I think it's okay. You know what? That, that's that's fucking uh that's a that's a trash alibi you know why because you, you're trying to tell new players come and play our beautiful game but at the same time you're telling new players come and play our beautiful game and don't forget we are destroying the game that we are trying to get you into so how the fuck does that make you any relevant how the fuck does that make you any relevant you're trying to tell new players come and play our games but at the same time our game is garbage that's a, that's exactly what you're doing when you're supporting these hacking tools exactly what you're doing so don't try to act like you're righteous by saying oh i've been playing guild wars 2 for 10 years so i know better and i can do whatever i want and, and it's fair for me to actually do this because you no, know, you know what you're garbage you're trapped you're not a veteran player you're not a guild wars 2 player every hackers who use hacking tools you're not you're not a guild wars 2 player you're trash you're literally trash and every mmo should bl you know what sorry guys i'm just leaving it uh sorry i see this is what happened when i Sorry, guys. I, I just, you know what? It's all right. You know, there, there's going to be a lot of garbage and a lot of good people. Like, I just forgot about that. You know, planet Earth, 7 billion humans. There ought, to, they ought, there ought to be some trash on this planet, right? And everybody who's supporting that, well, you are part of the trash category. That's all I can tell you. You're all, you're all trash. That's all I can tell you. And whoever is making those, those, uh, those, those hacks, you are, you are worse than trash. I, I'm trying to find a, a word uh, worse than trash, but I can't because you're so trash that <laughs> there's no category for you guys. You guys are the worst. You're worse than COVID. Technically, we don't. And everybody hates you. Everybody hates you. Like the entire planet hates you. You just don't know it. That's all. You're just trying to act like you're righteous behind a fucking pseudonym. And then you're trying to act like you're doing a favor to other players, you know, like, but you're not. You're just trash. That's what it is. That's pretty much what it is. After almost one year of dev development time, the Guild Wars 2 custom client is now an open beta. Anyone on US and e EU is invited to show. Oh my God. Guild Wars 2 CC is a completely independent client for Guild Wars 2. That means that the main game is not required for botting. What? 
All core functionality of the game, such as combat, movement, or item, is fully exposed to dev. What? What? Additionally, to the standalone mode that does not require the official client and attach mode is provided as well in attach mode guild wars 2 cc synchronizes with the official client and acts as an overlay ui and 3d elements can easily be shown during normal play this mode is perfectly suited for assisted script such as rotation script teleportation script inventory management fucking ass fucking ass man i'm so getting pissed off guys. i'm so I, i'm burning inside guys i, I don't want to explode because i hate I, I don't i don't like when i'm angry i, I really don't hi like myself when i explode bro i just fucking explode bro well you add crypto payments you definitely sub when you do i so want to fucking i want to i want to butt rape a chicken right now i, I so want to butt rape a chicken right now very hard extremely hard man fucking christ <sighs> crypto is definitely so oh look at that hey we are currently in the midst of adding more payment option crypto is definitely something we would like to offer but i don't see it coming in the near future oh my god no problem i understand it can be hard work and niche sometimes i will be keeping a close eyes to your on your project it looks very promising good finally have something to hear that's more than, than a teleport bot see a lot of people use see, you guys remember the two mechanics that i reported not too long ago they used that bot the teleport bot uh by the way the two mechanics that i reported uh many months ago they all got permaban both of them along with a third person three people got permaban after i published a video Three people got permaban, uh, including the two mechanics and somebody else. I don't know who they, they I don't know who ain't it permaban, but they permaban three people after I published my video. I think it was a, a few days later. You, you got, you guys, you, th you guys think it's a joke. You, you guys think you think it's a joke. You think you at, you are at no risk. You think you are at no risk, bro. I don't like saying this, but I'm recording all my games, and when I see something suspicious. Trust me, I will fucking report your ass. I will report your ass. And I can tell, I've seen so many things that like blows my mind. I can tell if it's skill. I can tell if it's a glitch. And I, I also can tell if you're hacking. I can deduce. It's very easy for me to figure out. Now, if you want to play with fire because you think you're too cool or because you're, because you're a 10 years old veteran player and you think that uh, T uh, Anet TOS doesn't apply to you because you've been playing this game for so long and that you deserve to be able to hack, if you think that way, keep thinking that way, bro. Keep thinking that way because the second that I record our match or the second I record you, that will be my raw evidence to get your ass perma ban. That will be my raw evidence to get your ass perma ban. That's all Anet needs. Anet, they need raw evidence investigating takes a long a long time sometimes if they don't have any uh information but you see the best information they get are the videos that are being recorded you think it's a joke are you 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 can you can keep using those bots those those uh those hacking i can tell when somebody hacks i can literally tell you know when you dodge roll like 20 fucking cc when you dodge roll 20 fucking cc and you never get hit by any burst by any cc like for 24-7 and you tell me that you're skilled? Fuck you. A big middle finger back at you. Fuck you. No, I don't think... Yo, I, I, I been playing this game long enough and I've killed and I beat it a lot of great players, all right? And I can tell you this. I never fucking hack. I use my skill. I use what I know, my knowledge and everything to actually uh, outsmart the opponent. I don't need a fucking hacking tool in order to fucking beat somebody else. That's not PvP. That's trash game playing. That's trash game playing, bro. Because you don't have the skill. People who don't have the skill to play legitimately, they will always uh, uh, res uh, resolve to using hacking tools because they have no skill. People who have no skill, they use hacking tools. That's why. So basically, you're not a PvP player. You're not a Guild Wars 2 player. You're not, you're not even a play I don't even know what the fuck you are, to be honest with you. I don't even know what the fuck you are, to be honest with you. But you're literally garbage. Yeah, I, one thing I know is that you're below garbage. And I'm trying to find a word that defines what is below garbage like, like I'm, I'm literally trying hard to find a word anyway hello when your bot will be available so uh so yeah guys i'm not uh, 
so this is the, these are buzz to make gold these are buzz to auto fish right and these are buzz to also for combat uh combat purposes i'm not gonna register i don't want to fucking register to this this bullshit uh what is this one here last app update 20 Guild, Guild Wars 2X previously only support for Mount Enhancer. What? For Mount Enhancer only now have an extra feature with full open world teleporter that's very easy to use. So other uh, useful feature. This trainer are aimed for open world roamer enjoyer. Beetle Racer, Griffin Pilot, and Meta Even Player. Also useful for map completion and to acquire Mount that that hard to get like Skyscale and Griffin collection completion overall to make the game more fun and less hectic. Oh my god. <sighs> I'm trying to keep it together, man. How do you... <laughs> you know, like, where... Why do pe Why are people so dumb? Why, why are people so dumb, guys? What the fuck are you, man? Like, seriously, what what the fuck are you, man? I don't know, man. This is beyond me, man. You don't... You know what? The reason why the game is fun is because there are challenges. If you don't go through those challenges, all right, you're just cheating. And at the end, when you get those rewards, you don't get anything out of it. You don't feel like you've done anything for it. That is no fun at all. Because when you get everything, just like Starfield, guys... I said it from the start. I, I think I was the first one from the start to say, if you're going to cheat Starfield, if you're going to cheat Starfield or even Pal World, if you're going to cheat Starfield or Pal World by doing everything super easy or by cheating your way out by using mods or add-ons or anything that allows you to alleviate those challenges, if you do that from the start and you acquire everything from the start, you're going to find this game boring and it's not going to be fun. When it's boring, you're going to complain, oh, this game is boring. I got everything. I got all the achievement. I got all the gold. I got all the skins. I got all the mounts. I did all the world map completion. I did all everything. Go. What is there to do in Guild Wars 2? It's so boring. Oh my god. So basically you're actually fucking killing your own game experience and then we get to hear you complain and whine on fucking anet's forum that the game is so boring because you've done everything so it's a loss for everybody because you cheated it's a loss for everybody because you cheated we don't need to hear your whining keep your whining in your house if you want to cheat do it to yourself but we don't want to hear you whine that the game is boring because you've achieved everything using fucking cheating hacking tools do I is do I do you understand my English or do I need to speak in Chinese? Nei hao ma? Like what the fuck, bro? Like serious fucking Lee, bro. Run this after the game is fully running, uh, or you already on your character. Run this after the game is fully running, or you already on your character and you're set. Join the Discord. Open game patch. Break the expect a bit late update. What does this do? What does this do? Main spoiler. Fully configurable window name and UI color. Unlimited mount skin st Guys, guys, guys. Where do they? Ha where do you think they get the lines of codings? Where do you think these hackers get these lines of codings? Why is the engine so easy to hack? In order to do all these things, they need the lines of codings from inside the goddamn engine itself. How do they get it so fucking easily, man? How do they get the lines of coding so easily, man? It's killing me. Where do they get those lines of codings? Unlimited sky scale bar, green bar, Griffin and Beetle Insta speed boost, pro fishing, manual fishing with full assist for use on open public and full AFK, 100% cash success rate. Skiff max speed without without mastery, position rewinder. That's exactly what I saw in that. That you remember, guys, the the dude position rewinder save your position and load it whenever you need to uh this they the, that's the guy who used it in world v world you remember the hacker that i that i that i showed you la not too long ago so i'm gonna show you right now see this this uh, maguma player here watch he's gonna save his point over here at the top of the hill right and then he's gonna go down 
but then he's gonna return back on, on the hill because of this hacking tool boom there you go see that so that's that's a hacking tool people use in world v world and there's that's fucking bullshit there we go that's fucking bullshit that's exactly what he used position rewinder but how do they get the lines of coding without being detected how do they get the lines of codings without being detected Fly up, pro glider, glide with blazing speed without losing altitude. Wall climb, climb any vertical object, underground, go for invisibility, fully underground, go. Fucking ass. I heard somebody told me they saw some hackers who were on, under, because you know when you're in World v. World, some people they can go underground. So basically it's kind of like they, they burrow like a, a hole underground and you don't see them anymore. So... That, that's how they get permastelt because they go on the ground. You don't see them, but they go on the ground. They go, that's how they got permastelt, guys. They click one button, boom, they disappear. They are they are on the ground. The fuck? And here he's going to instant stealth out of nothing. He has no pet. He has no smoking scale. He has nothing. He just insta, <laughs> insta fucking stealth. <laughs> fucking idiot. Oh my god. And he's gonna fucking stealth, but he's gonna like teleport at the same time super mega fast over there. How the fuck did he do that? And he doesn't have like um, his uh, teleportation is 900 range, and you need to have a target in order to actually use it. There's no target over here. How did he teleport it there? That is beyond me. What the fuck? And it's more than 200, uh, 2000 range unit away. Invisible mob, go invisible from mob, fully configure. What? Go invisible from mob. Invisible mob. Go invisible from mob. Ah, yeah, yeah. That's perfect for uh, for for thief. You guys wonder how 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 thief sometimes you know they stealth out of nothing. You know when they you know I, I've I like guys. I know that there's a lot of way to stealth. I know I play thief myself, but there should be an animation. They should be there should be an animation when you stealth. Or when you dodge roll, uh, like if you dodge roll, if you are uh, dead eyes using a rifle, that's perfectly fine. But if you are, uh, what is it, daredevil, and you stealth without any animation, uh, specifically if there is no mob, because one of the stealth that you need, look, I'm going to show you. So as you can see here, um, I'm going to show you all the way to stealth uh, with, uh, you know, thieves. So right now I'm playing daredevil and I have this build. So over here I'm using bound. Uh, in order to stealth because dodge roll is also a combo finisher leap but then i need to have uh uh what is it Pist uh, i need to have pistol pistol or i need to have pistol in the second hand so that i can do this then dodge roll then you get the stealth right so you see the there's an animation here and you see me dodge rolling right which is perfectly fine right there you go you can do that the other way is stealth um you have cloak and dagger this one let me double check i need to have a mob so here I need to just stab someone. Is it instant? Let me double check. So see, there is an animation. Did you guys see the animation? It's like she moves her hand, like like a swipe. So you need to see that, right? See, that's okay. If you see the animation over here and they stealth with a mob, that's fine. But if you see that they just vanish like this out of nothing, like one second, I'm gonna kill this guy. Oh, all right. So see, uh, so basically here, blinding tough is when you steal, you get this. Is that instant? That's half a second. Let me double check. There is an animation as well. So you need to have an animation, right? The other one is blinding powder. Watch this guy. This one also has an animation. Watch, watch carefully, okay? One, two, three. So you see there was like a tiny animation that throws something on the ground. So you need to see this animation, right? This one, there's an animation as well. Hide in the shadow. So watch carefully. Boom. There you go. See the animation? So you need to see that. Um, there's always this guy here, Shadow Refuge. So if I use this, you should see like a gigantic like circle like here. So that's 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 legit. That's fine. You see? So you need to have an animation, right? Um, the other way I forgot to mention here. So here, Dagger over here. So if I use this and I switch and I have number two, Heart Seeker, then you can, you can, you can, uh, 
you can stealth as well but you see there's an animation right you can see me like work like working on my my stealth right is there any other way to uh to stealth you have combo fuel smoke over here so i can do this and then i can do this i can dodge roll dodge roll dodge roll and i have eight seconds of stealth you know what i'm saying so you can you, you know you need to have an animation for any spell that you're using see this guy shadow step so when you use shadow step you will see an animation on the ground so if i shadow step you see this you should see this on the ground you should see an animation if i'm using shadow step right so that's perfectly fine so over here i have prepare seal area prepare shadow portal yeah that's the one so here if i do this uh this is gonna for one minute so here i have a shadow portal so basically if somebody fights you and if they're using that you will see that let me see if there's an animation yeah, well, you should see an animation here. Boom. So that is perfectly fine. Right? So uh, the other way, also, let me double check. So here, if they're using silent scope, they need to have a rifle in order to, so when they dodge roll, they have, like, uh, they have stealth. You know what I'm saying? So let me double check. So here, I'm using a rifle. So over here, if I dodge roll. So there's an animation. You need to see a dodge roll before, you know, before the anim before they stealth, right? So that's perfectly fine. Uh, another one, this one, Shadow Mel. Let me double check. Shadow Mel has an animation as well, I think. There is an animation, like half a second. Did you guys see that? I'm gonna do. I'm gonna use it again. So you need to have an animation. There you go. So if you see that, that's perfectly fine. If you see this, that's fine. So you have a little animation, right? What else is there as animation I'm trying to see? So that's pretty much it. And the reason I do this, uh, I'm showing you this, is because I've seen um, some thief that actually insta stealth, like they insta stealth without without any animation. They just poof, they just vanish. How do you vanish without any animation? You need to either dodge roll, like with rifle, that is, or you know you need to have an animation, like see. Replenishing. So that's why. The one thing that I've noticed, like I've, I've, I didn't record it, but I saw many thieves, like they have, I don't know how they do it, but I think I know they use, I think they're using like a, a hacking tool, which allows them when they're out of stealth, when they're out of endurance, they're going to use that hacking tools, like subtly, like they're not going to use it all the time, but they're going to use it when they know they're out of stamina. So they get that perma stealth, you know what I mean? So that's why when you see a thief that, that disappear out of nothing without any animation, that's when you need to ask question. Because every you every spell, every way to stealth requires an animation. With this hack, you get an invisible mob, and you can use your dagger five anytime you want and get permanent and definite stealth. There you go. There you go. Clipping and full clip walk through anything. Oh yeah, no wonder how fucking towers can get uh, access by anybody who just fucking... Ugh. See, I, 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 I got some... There were some players who said that they saw enemy players who access a garrison or a tower without even breaking a fucking wall. Now, these people were not even mesmer or thief. No. They were not... They, they, were, not, they were not even stealth people. No. They were not stealth classes. They were fucking something else. And they happened to be inside the garrison. They also, you know what? There's all, they also flip. They also flip the garrison without even killing the Lord. The Lord was not even killed. It just flipped automatically. So this is my old video where uh, somebody actually flipped this keep. So we had, uh, this, this, was, um, this was ours before, right? And somebody, uh, an enemy player, what he, what he did is he used a hacking tool which allowed to auto flip um, the keep, right? So what happened is that the Lord, I'm going to show you right now. Wow. Somebody hacked this place. So basically, if you, if, you, if you have noticed, the Lord is on the ground. But when we came here, we did not even kill the Lord because it was already dead. But all the NPC around the Lord was still alive. That's what happened when you use this hacking tool to auto flip a keep. And I, I've seen it many times in World v. World. It's like like somebody was standing in uh, next to a lord, like, and then some a lot, some enemy came around, right? And then the lord just died. Boom. And then the keep became an, an enemy keep. But the lord remained dead. So 
basically when we come back over here to breach the wall to come back inside the lord's room the lord is already dead why because they use a hacking tool to auto flip the keep and they do that they do that during like off hours usually when there's nobody on the map and i've seen it like two times already i've seen it two or three times and uh, it's very it's very sad because it's a one button you pl you press one button you auto flip the the keep or the gary and you get your your daily already you get your daily without doing anything that that's fucking bullshit that's fucking bullshit guy i got three people who told me that they were next to the lord and the lord uh just disappeared out of nowhere and the the gary zone just flipped it was on my server that was like i think uh, a few months ago some menus are equipped with fully adjustable sliders teleport with random time internal between spot fully conf there you go this is what the uh the two mechanics use teleport with random time interval between spot that's uh, th that's what the two mechanics uh use and those two mechanics has been perma banned by the way so this is one of my old uh, video i've done uh what was that uh eight months ago when two mechanics use the uh, teleportation spell which allows them to auto teleport uh you know like very long distance and these two has been somebody told me they have been permaban uh guys this is not a joke when i say this like if anet have evidence that you're you know like cheating using you know like to uh, hacking tools you get perma bound for real. This is not a joke. You shouldn't like. I I'm not even joking, guys. This is not a joke. It's a mechanic. So watch carefully here. Boom! He disappeared. You see this one disappeared. This. Oh, there's two of them. Okay. And he dis did he disappear again? Let me double there's check. Always two of them. Oh no, he didn't disappear. He's two there. Mechanic. Interesting. So th this is this is th there you go there you go. See, I, I I just came out of combat and I'm not supposed to be out of combat. Boom! Both of them just ported away. They ported like all the way to the back. There's like uh, it's all the way to the back. Now I'm in combat. I was in combat. Did you see that? I was out of combat and then I was in combat. What the fuck? Like what the hell? I did not notice that. One second. So one second, guys. So here I'm out, I'm in combat. I'm out of combat. I'm in combat. I'm out of combat. What the fuck? Holy shit. I did not notice that. Just fucking look out. So then I went this way. I went this way over there. Like... Like, it took me, like, some time, and then boom, 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 and then I kept going, and I was looking for them. I was like, where did they go, right? So I went all the way there. I don't know. I just decided to go this way, and there they were. There they were. I'm like, what the fuck? I was like, what the fuck? There they are, and then they're going to do it again. There you go. They did it again. <laughs> that, that is so dumb bro when you guys oh my god they are don't do this guys some streamers record it and they send the videos to anet this is no joke guys you get permaban for they got guys don't do it if you want to get permaban and lose everything i mean that's your choice but don't you shouldn't do it anyway they got permaban as, as as i've heard and there was a third person who also got permaban i don't i don't know who it is but that's what somebody told me that these two mechanics and then a third person got permaban so they they lost everything and there's no appeal you don't get your account back you're you're out you're gg you're finished load map data automatically detect your current map and load available map data world point poe achievement and more anymore load personal data f full freedom making your own teleport spot uh for any situation on anywhere anytime equip with coordinates copier make it very easy to make your list you can even make multi-tap teleport with it for completion and gathering if you need auto hard quest completion currently not available you know capcom you know capcom they have an anti-cheat if you cheat if you use a mod if you use anything that alter it that alter it the integrity of the game anything if you use any fucking single mod or any kind of tools, anything that alters the game, 
you get permaban. That's from Capcom. Elden Ring. Same thing with Elden Ring. Same thing with Resident Evil. Same thing with, uh, what is it, Hell Divers 2. Every Capcom's game. These guys are smart. I think Capcom are the smartest company on the planet right now. Because they understand the value of a game. That if cheaters cheat their game, people will be less inclined to play their game. They know that you need to play it fair in order to get your achievement. The, the, Capcom is the smartest company on the planet right now. And that's why Elden Ring is so popular. This is why Resident Evil is so popular. This is why every fucking, every fucking game they do is always a hit. Because hackers and cheaters cannot cheat. Why? Because if you do so, you get permaban on the spot. That's what it means. Odoron teleport lists smart detection. We'll pause if for some reason you die during auto teleport. Clarity view. It's more than no fog. It's clarity. Clarity view. It's more than no fog. It's clarity. What the fuck? ESP. Show other players, NPC, enemy through wall, or anything. Enhance your sense. Oh, yeah. No wonder why I see so many commanders that can tell exactly where the enemy is. They can tell exactly where the enemy is and they can position themselves in advance in World v. World. Why? Because they see everybody outside the wall. And I know some thief. I've seen some thief. Uh, I forgot to record. <clears throat> but I'm going to record this. There were two thief. There were two thief uh, from uh, a specific guild that I have an issue with. And these two thief are gankers. They've been ganking me from the start. One time they were attacking me. I was like inside SMC. And what happened is that there were like uh, two Zerg of my two ally Zergs that were coming from outside the wall. For some reason, they were in uh, my, the two thief were inside the walls with me, right? So they couldn't they couldn't tell if anyone was coming, right? They can't. I mean, you cannot see through walls, right? <clears throat> but apparently, while they were ganking me, they just they just this they just left. They just left exactly when the two ally Zergs came into SMC from outside. How did they know? That those two ally zergs were, were coming from outside. Unless they have this. This thing here. See through wall. Hacking tools. I should have recorded them. And I should have reported them. I should. Next time I will. Actually now I'm, rec I'm, 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 some, I'm reporting everyone now. I don't care. I'm reporting everyone. If I deem that you're hacking. I'm reporting you. Simple as that. Map radar. Show players and NPC enemy on your minimap. If it's player you can hover your mouse over. It to show the name ah yeah in the minimap yeah that is fucking cheating again that's fucking cheating in the map radar now you can tell where the enemy is that's even worse that's even worse you can you can actually anticipate your next attack because you actually know where they are oh my god ain't why where did they get the lines of codings ain't where did they get the lines of codings I'm asking you because you're the one in charge of your, your you're the one in charge of your engine. How did they get the lines of coding so easily? You see all these hack here? These are easy these are lines of coding you need to get from from inside the engine. How did they how did they all get it? How do they all get it? How did all these people get all the lines of codings and it goes all the way to I don't know how many pages. Look how many views. 869,000 views. 869,000 views. How many players do you think that is? 4,728 replies. How many players do you think comes over here, Anet? How many players do you think comes over here? How many of them do you think are hacking right now? Yeah. Ask the right question. You'll, you, you'll see what I mean. Fishing angler sends permanently, permanently show active fishing holes on your minimap. Yeah, that's, 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 yeah, that's fucking stupid. Uh, because then you don't need to do anything to play the game, technically. Modify zoom, not just your own character, but also when you are or mount. Lock the zoom for precision zooming. That is so stupid. That is so stupid. Modify your current FOV for wider view. Run this after the game is fully running or you're already on your character. Register. Do, do note this problem is packed and obfuscated. Some antivirus may need exception for it to work properly. It is recommended to make exclusion folder of your antivirus software and push GW2X there. Do not spam teleport for map completion. Unlocking waypoint PoE each other too fast. A net might be able to detect. The Sorry guys, I, I'm just trying to not explode. I don't want to explode. 
I, I don't want to explode. I don't like calm down, DJ. You know what? Keep it to yourself. Don't worry. Don't worry, DJ. It's it's fine. It's fine. Like I said, you have some good peoples on Earth. You have some garbage people on Earth. You know, it's always going to be like that. It's always going to be like that. All right. It, there's nothing you can do about it, DJ. All right. Don't 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 stress yourself out. There's good people and there's garbage people, and these are the garbage type. So you need to anticipate that. Just like in PvP, DJ, you need to, in Art of War, you need to anticipate your enemy. So you need to anticipate the fact <laughs> that there are garbage people on Earth, right? Do you agree with me, DJ? Yeah? Okay, so why do you stress out? If you agree with me, why do you stress out the fact that you know already there's going to be garbage people on this planet? I don't know, because I don't... No. Well, you should know better because you're a DJ, right? You're DJ Dragon, all right? And you know better. You know you're fast. You think fast, right? Yeah. Okay. Well, if you think fast, let me ask you this very simple question. If you can anticipate enemy in PvP as fast as you think you are, how come you cannot anticipate garbage people on Earth as fast as you anticipate enemy in PvP? Man, that's a good question. I know it's a good question because I'm the one asking it. I know you're asking a DJ, but I'm the one listening and I'm DJ as well. I know you're DJ, but I'm the real DJ. You're just my sub DJ. What the fuck are you talking about? No, shut. You know what? Back to the fucking original DJ. Back to the fuck. Back to original DJ. DJ, get back. Ah! 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 Okay, DJ. DJ, stop splitting your fucking mind. Stop. Okay, guys, stop it. Both of you in my head, stop it. Back to the original DJ. Back to the original DJ. All right? Back, 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 back. Okay, I'm the one DJ. Shut you shut up and you shut up. Both of you DJ, shut up. Okay. 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 Okay, shut up. All of you I said. All right. All right. All right. Shut up. <laughs> Woo! Welcome to my channel, mother freak. God damn. Please note that free user have limited access to the functional uh of this trainer please consider supporting this project to unlock everything and keep this project alive no subscription required donate one time and get the full version and future future update if any join discord to get early update game patch update may break this trainer expect bit late update from me when it happened thanks for your understanding it works perfectly for now and simply straight up works. No other bullshit step. Just only advice to avoid ban is to avoid activating doing it in meta events and places with tons of other people because they will report you. Hey! Hey! You're smart! You're so fucking smart! We have a smart garbage player in Guild Wars 2. Everybody, let's big, a hit, big hand round of applause. Everybody applause. Yay! Yay! <laughs> oh my god. We got a smart trash garbage player in Guild Wars 2. That is insane. Holy cow. Oh wow. It's a wonderful infinite resistance. It's much more useful than we expect. Really thanks to infinite resistance. Some antivirus, as Avast may report, is that a virus is false positive. The hack is clean. Oh my god. It is broken after the patch. Hopefully, it will be fixed soon. Update and joy. Broken as 523. Update. The current version now is still working, but I suggest to download a new update. Any ban so far? Ah, 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 you're afraid, buddy? Hey, are you afraid to get banned? Trainers update with new feature enjoy. Please note that this is the only prototype. Continuous update support depends on your support. So he wants to get paid. He wants to get paid in order to 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 kill the game. If you're a Guild Wars 2 CN player, lack of support will make the CN version go down like the past trainers that are available for Guild Wars 2. Do not use it on global version. It will crash your game. What? Global version? What the fuck are you talking about? If this is not working after the game update release, do not expect me to update it for now. Global version has no, have nothing to do with this. What? That being said, if you're a CN user, enjoy. What? What the fuck is he talking about? Not working anymore. It says new version available, but it's the same version. Okay, so that's why Inet does a lot of patch. Inet does a lot of patching because of these hackers, because they're trying to counter these hackers by changing different lines of codings. Uh, that's why. So that's why I see a lot of patches. Every patches, these idiots, they need to they, they need to fix their lines of codings because of. The, but again, how can they fix it? How do they get the lines of codings? That's what I'm trying to understand. How do they get those lines of coding so easily? How do they do it, Anet? How? How do they get the lines of coding so easily? I don't understand. I don't understand. I don't understand. 
Not working, good, good, not working. Update version always, and yeah, yeah, yeah. That being said, enjoy. Can use this for solo intense shade content like solo fractals raid. Uh, so yeah, uh, how much do I donate? Some donate five, some donate 10, and some have been gracious with 50. Do what you feel fit. I'm not greedy, it helps to continue this project. So you need to pay. So they're taking donation. When, when contacting me after donating, please just simply pass the PayPal information and choose the username password for me to add, and I'll link you after doing so in the file URL. Oh, they, they gather your PayPal information. They take your personal information, bro. So they need to have a screenshot of your personal PayPal information. Oh, my God. That is so sneak. That is so insidious, bro holy shit that is so you know what they, you know what if they if they do that they can do whatever they, they can hack into your house they can hack into your computer they can hack into your bank account they can hack into if you guys provide them with those information they can these hackers are smart they can do whatever they want to do to your home to your home to your house to your wife to your kids because they have access to personal information you're giving it to them for a fucking hack for a fucking hack. You guys are so dumb. Oh my god. <laughs> oh man. You guys are so dumb. It's beyond comprehension, bro. It's beyond comprehension. You guys are so dumb.